We so often get caught up in the the destination of getting to a place right. where actually God is more interested in us walking the call of the day with him. So we have this idea of, you know, I want to get to A to Z in two months. I want to go on Concord and it's going to be supersonic and we're going to get there straight away. And God's idea for you actually is, you know, let's, let's, let's go with a camel. Yeah. And let's just hang out and let's just, let's just yeah, fellowship and let's yes, just right. enjoy whatever. We have a good day or we have a bad day. Let's just enjoy hanging out and fellowshipping one another. Because I think the more that you, that, you, that you just walk with God and enjoy God and the call of the day, regardless of the circumstances, whether they're pressing in or whether it's a difficult time in your life, that is, God, you know, it, it, it's so much easier to focus on that than instead of a destination. I'm going to use grace or I'm going to use, you know, uh, the message of grace to get me to a destination quickly. God's not interested in that. Right. He's not interested. It's not the destination, and it's the process. One of the things I would say as well to kind of everybody online, I, you know, personally I've been walking in grace for several years and when I first came out to America over 10 years ago, there was a period of time for about four years where me and my wife were walking in grace but we didn't have any fellowship at all. Didn't have any fellowship, so it's very lonely time. It, like on one hand, it's the, it's the greatest blessing that you suddenly awaken to grace and this relationship and intimacy, but you soon realize that when you start talking to some other believers or when you're up, you know, we're a part of a church, that they were very anti the message. And one of the things I loved about, and I only had to preach late last night, so uh, what I took from the preach was it was extremely prophetic. Because I, I was talking to Ash, my wife, uh, earlier today, that we, on one hand, we have our relationship. Uh, with God on our own, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. But also, what God does is He brings people together, whether it's with all of us here tonight, you know. And I believe, you know, the message that you, you, you spoke was really prophetic, you know, saying it can be so easy to be disheartened and to, to get, you know, uh, to think, I've got to deal with all this stuff, you know. And it's just really encouraging to kind of stay together. And we're on this journey together, and, and it's a warning in relation that all these lies are going to come up, and you know that you can be free from those things. So, anyway, I don't know where I'm going. No, no, that's good. That's excellent. <laughs> what, what